Hey guys, One Piece Nation here, and today we are going to talk about Cuddy Flam. Now, I bet some of you are wondering, who the hell is Cuddy Flam? Well, he's also known as Frankie. Yeah, so Frankie is obviously a character in One Piece, and he was introduced in One Piece chapter 329. He was actually, originally, he was sort of a villain. I don't want to say he was a bad guy. There is some loyalty to Robin. Well, Robin was more of an antagonist. He was a member of the antagonist organization. Frankie was more of an obstacle. See, he was not a villain. Like, Robin was in, like a villain. Frankie was just an antagonist. It's the best way to say it. Frankie is not as bad as anybody else was. Frankie was always a relatively decent guy. He was just involved in some shady shit. He was just a member of what the one place equivalent is of a gang. Now, the Frankie family was just a gang. So yeah, when he found out Usopp had like 200 million berries, he was like, well, we're a gang. We want money so we can buy shit with our money. So Frankie and his gang beat the guy with the 200 million berries up. I mean, there's nothing really wrong with him. He wasn't like killing people. But he did actually have a fight with Luffy, like a legitimate fight. Now, Robin may have taken him out, but Frankie is the only straw hat that, that fought Luffy prior to joining. Zoro and a couple other characters have fought him later on down the line. Zoro fights him at Whiskey Peak. Usopp fights him uh, so actually, uh, before his fight with Frankie. And Sanji fights him later on in Whole Cake Island around chapter 840, 845. Somewhere around there. It may even be like 844. I believe it's 844. But that is... That's not the point. The point is, is that Frankie and Lucy have a fight. It, even then, Lucy obviously is holding back. Lucy is clearly... Maybe not at the time, but right looking back on it. Lucy is clearly stronger than Frankie because he had an idea for his second gear at this point. I'm not sure if he had completed it yet because he revealed it in his fight with Rob Lucy. However, he I think he may have finished work he may have finished working out the kinks on the way to Water Seven. Like that was like he did not know a lot about it. Well he did, he knew a lot about it, he was new to the form. But he had definitely only used it like one or two, three, four times. Like, oh, he had definitely not used it a lot. Nobody else on the crew knew about it. I'm not too that curious to how Lucy found that form without anybody knowing. That's beside the point. We'll save that for the Lucy video, which should be out in like two weeks, because next week I'm doing Haruno Sakura from Naruto. No, but, um. So Frankie fought Lucy. He did relatively well. I mean, he only fought Luffy. Nami did not interfere. She could have. I mean, we do know at this point he had a perfect climb attack. Frankie was in no position where he was going to win this fight. But he did fight Luffy. That happened. I think Luffy ended up winning. Yeah, from what I remember, Luffy ended up winning. I actually don't really remember the outcome of that fight. It may have been one of those fights that had a very unclear outcome. Maybe I'm wrong, but I know Luffy didn't lose, and if he did, he lost because he was goofing off. But I do remember, uh, they thought Frankie was very weird. We get introduced to Frankie Gag, which is that he's a robotic, speedo-wearing pervert with blue hair. Frankie weird. Like, at that point, I'm borderline saying Frankie Gag, it's just that he's freaking weird as shit. <laughs> Frankie, this is he's so weird. Like, he's like, super! Don't get me wrong, he's awesome, but he's weird. But again, I'm weird. Weird is cool, right? So Frankie did join pretty late in the game. Frankie actually did not officially join until after the any lobby arc. But he did very heavily help the Straw Hat rescue Robin. That was actually the reason he considered joining. He didn't want to leave Water 7. They kind of had to force him to join. So, yeah. Because, of course, if you watch his flashback, you know that he created a robotic army that kills a lot of people. His mentor was also killed. 
And yeah, now the world government just seems to be a theme in Annie's lobby. Every character that we get a backstory for is somehow locked up into the world government and their prejudice and their lies and their BS. Like Frankie's mentor died because he built Roger a ship. Frankie's mentor was killed. Tom was killed because he built for Earl Jackson. Earl Jackson. Or that son. Whatever. The ship of Goldie Roger. So Frankie would kill. So Frankie's mentor would kill for that. When he was doing a cutty slam. But he had already learned the crap about uh, building ships from him. He actually helped Tom build the sea train on Water 7. Which in case you don't remember. It's a train that moves on water. Something we today don't have, at least not to the extent of what this does. Like, this is like across the, like, from, from one island to the other is like a train. We don't have many of those today. Like, this is really cool what this thing can do. It's epic. Like, it goes, there's even a train that goes to any lobby. How cool is that? I mean, if you look at the One Piece map geographically, my god, this is really impressive. So, yeah, but, so when Frankie Mentor put on the train to be taken to any lobby to be killed, because let's be honest, they say there's a courtroom. No, fuck you. That's why they say that courtroom. Screw you. No, it doesn't make sense. It's not a courtroom. You go there, they're like, you're guilty, and they kill you. Well, they send you to impel down, and they kill you. But Frankie... But Tom was probably already dead, and he probably already had bled to death by the time he got there. He, Tom, Tom was dead. But so Frankie got in front of the train, and he was like, give Tom back. He got in front of the train, and it ran him over. Okay, this is where we get into my problem with Frankie's character. He, according to this, same problem with Dr. Jiro from Dragon Ball. He apparently rebuilt himself. As a train, as a cyborg, he was hit by a train, and using the scraps, the scraps from the scrap yard in Water Seven, he rebuilt his body. Mind you, I am talking like the entire lower half of his body was wrecked, and he rebuilt it. How did he do that? I could go on for hours speculating on how the hell Frankie did this. He's no devil fruit eater. He's not a Logia type. There's no way he could have survived that. He just survived and he hit by a train. Like a moving train. He got hit by it. He survived and he rebuilt his body. So yeah, I love a straw hat. Frankie Bass story makes the least damn sense. At least to how he got to where he is now, the source of his powers. It, it, it doesn't. I'm sorry, actually his time skip abilities make sense. So again, okay, in the time skip, Frankie doesn't really do much. I mean he does, he builds the South and Sunny, of course. And he does a lot of cool stuff with it. He builds the many and Mary. He's also I believe he is completely responsible for the docking system. I believe he built all of that. The people from uh the people at Water 7 helped with the Sound and Sunny, but Frankie did the docking system. And that that was probably what he worked on the most, if I'm being honest with you. It was probably like everybody else built the basic jet, and Frankie was there building the docking system. The docking system is really complex. It had like leather, it moves, it's like that would probably, I mean, that would work. I play Minecraft. Okay, so obviously, I need to play Minecraft. I mean, that, like, that would be really complicated to do. Alright, so Frankie built, of course, the docking system. Which, and I'm not sure if the docking system works. Like, how do you... It, it's weird. It, like, turns on the inside with a number. I'm not sure how the numbers come on outside correctly. I may mean, have to look at the, uh, specs for the sunny later. But, so Frankie built that. He also built everything inside. He built the Gallo, but gave the Gallo cannon. The, the galley cannon, I believe it said. I don't remember. It's been a long time since I heard that in the anime. Considering they've only used it like twice. They don't use the docking weapons enough. So he built that in Lucy's special state on the sunny head. What else did Frankie build? He built the mini Mary with a head in front of Mary, I guess. 
It's clearly not what I'll give him a mini Mary. It's clearly not the head from the Mary. They, they did act like it is, but, but Mary's head was so much bigger than that. It doesn't make sense. How is that the Mary's head is so small? It bothered me. It bothered me. It always bothered me. Bothered me since day one. I was like, it's not Mary. It looks like a Mary. Mary, I love you, man. I love you, girl. But really, does it make sense? But yeah, okay. Let's move on to the interesting stuff. Time capability. You let me honest. Nobody wants to talk about Frankie and Thriller Bark. Frankie did like nothing in that arc. All they were fight or. But let's talk about the time skip and the future potential of the character. So Frankie of all the characters, well, one of the characters that spent his time skip in a very interesting place. Unlike the other character, Frankie spent his time skip in an amazing location. He spent it in Vagapunk's laboratory. And you know who Dr. Vagapunk is? He is the smartest person in the One Piece verse. And instead he is 500 years ahead of the rest of the world mentally. So, he is like, considering they had stuff like phones, granted they're very different than what we have, but they have a lot of the same stuff we have, just very different. Sorry, my braces are messed up here. But they have stuff like phones, video cameras, they have transponder snails, video transponder snails. Like, it's very different. Or Den Den Mushi, if you want to go full weeaboo Japanese version. They have a video Den Den Mushi. The regular Den Den Mushi. Like, they have a lot of cool shit. So, this is where things get interesting. Frankie spent two years in his lab, and he created his new body. Now, let's talk about Frankie's new body. I don't like Frankie's new body, guys. I don't. I'm, I'm, I'm sorry, I think I don't, I'm not a big fan of it, never have been, I think his new body's lazy, I think it's kind of ugly, and I really like his old design more, I thought like you're more like robotic human, like thrown together scraps, it was really cool, but um, Frankie, no, I didn't like it, I'm sorry I didn't, I'm sorry that the problem for you, but I, I don't like it. And I know a lot of people have accepted it. I just... I only got to the time skip like... Three years ago. The people have been reading since pre-time skip. have had like... Six or seven years to get used to it. I only have like three or four. But I caught up like... Three years ago. So yeah, I'm still a little salty about that. I'm sorry I'm still salty about something getting one piece. Now I'm probably never going to let that go. If I loved Frankie pre-time skip, but... Design-wise, I don't like him now. I still love him, but uh, he's lost. He went down a lot on the coolness meter, if I'm being completely honest with you. Now, let's talk about uh, future abilities. Ability-wise, I'm not really sure. I'm thinking maybe some more weapons, some more heights, more dangerous weapons, obviously. I think if Frankie will get hockey, I'm guaranteeing you will get armament hockey. There is no need for Frankie to have Osterich in hockey. He's not, he's not a very fast character. Speed is not Frankie's thing. So it wouldn't really make sense. Let me mute my TV. Okay, no. no it wouldn't really make sense for Frankie to be like using Osterich. I firmly believe he would use Armament. Hockey. I'm... I want to think I'm 99% sure if he learns hockey, it would be armament. Now! Other ability, probably more dangerous weapons. Maybe some Vagapunk shit. Maybe some, like, sea stone weapon. Because I'm pretty sure Vagapunk invent invented sea stone. I know he invented the coating at the bottom of the room. He invited, he invented the coating of Sea Stone at the bottom of the marine ship for the comm belt. That was his idea. And Zagapunk is a damn genius. And Frankie spent two years there. In fact, Frankie Giant Robot Battle Frankie, I believe it is called. Your General Frankie. General Frankie. 
I'm blanking on Frankie right now. I really should have rewatched just rewatched just the Frankie stuff before making this video. Sorry, my brain is damn it. No, but um, yeah, General Frankie and General Frankie is giant robot. Like the only question, the only thing I requested was where he got the supplies to do all of this. I guess Vagapunk just left a lot of stuff in his old childhood lab. But, um, yeah, so he rebuilt his body, he built stuff like General Frankie and all the other things. That, some of them are clearly there to make toys. Oda doesn't do it often. Every once in a while, Oda will have Frankie come out with them with like a line of new looking craftsmen. Have you ever noticed that? Like, Frankie just, the Frankie rarely just in introducing one thing at once. Like, on Fifth Man Island, Frankie's like, here's this, here's that, here's this, here's that. Or it was like, toy company, to make me money. That is, from a business standpoint, one of Frankie's purposes, uh, purposes in the theory that to build shit that they can sell as toys. Like, the Shark Submarine, the Mini Mary, those are all toys. There's also, uh, you go look at the real-life versions of the Sunny. I think you get on them by taking mini marries to get to them. Or something. Or there are mini marries you can like drive around in the ocean in Japan. It's really, really cool. That's another case of one me being awesome and me wanting to go to Japan and drive a mini Mary. That's like my dream. Oh my god. And to go on the South and Sunny. Oh. Gotta stop. I gotta stop fanboying over how great it would be to go to Japan and be surrounded by One Piece. No, but, oh, sorry about that. I hit, I hit my wire. I don't have the greatest setup. I just moved into this place. So, yeah, but, um, for future power-ups with Frankie, if I'm gonna be honest with you, I don't see him getting many. I see Frankie getting hockey and just better weapons. More advanced powers, I don't think it's happening. Maybe, like, better missiles, better lasers. Like, what else can you really do? He has lasers. He has a radical beam. So maybe he can get an ability where he can, like, an ability where he can, like, shoot the radical beam out of his hand. Or something. That would be really, really cool. If he could, like, shoot the radical beam out of his hand. That would be great. But, yeah, honestly, I don't have much to say on Frankie. There are nine straw hats. Some of them are more interesting than others. Than others. Some of them I have more to stay on than others. With Frankie, I didn't have a lot to say. I'm going to be honest with you. This is actually, I think, a little bit longer than the Robin video, but that's because I rambled a little bit. But yeah, hope you guys enjoyed the video. Like, tell me who you guys want me to do next. Next week, I'm going to do Sakura, because I really want to do a video about Sakura, because I'm a Sakura fan. Or next time you see one of these, it will be about Sakura. I don't know when that will be, because I'm just recording the ink, whatever the hell I want. Yeah, but you'll probably... I don't know, guys. But the next one will definitely be about, be about Sakura Haruno for Naruto, or Haruno Sakura. And uh, I'm thinking maybe I'll do Luffy afterwards, or either Luffy, or maybe Nami. Luffy, Nami, Zoro, or Sanji. One of those four. I want to do one that I really want to do. So I, I tend to do Nami, Luffy, Zoro, and Sanji. Those all sound like a lot of fun. But yeah, tell me who you, who you guys want me to do in the comments down below. And tell me once again, are you enjoying these videos? I feel like these are a lot of fun to do. So yeah, peace out guys. Have a great day. And I'm sorry if it was a little hard to understand me. Learn my races. One of my brakes here broke, so the wire is poking me in the mouth right now. It, it, it works because I'm talking a lot, so yeah. Sorry about that. I'll try to get that fixed relatively soon. So yeah, peace out, guys.